If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I absolutely love this Oregon Basement Alberta Premium 100% Rye Whiskey. Uh, it's 40%, but it, it just tastes delicious. And it's, it's, uh, it's not expensive and it tastes good. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did, um, I made a video about uh, another Alberta Premium, which was the Cask Strength. Uh, it comes out at something like 64% alcohol by volume, and it's uh, got some sherry added to it. So it's uh, a lot like the old Dark Horse uh, Alberta Premium was. And I have here another Alberta Premium. This is the 100% rye, 20 year old. And it's bottled at 42% alcohol by volume. So it's not much stronger than this one, which I used to calibrate my palate. And uh, this one came out at the same time as the Premium Spirits release uh, from BC Liquor Stores, but it's not part of the Premium Spirits release. It just came out at the same time. So that's the 20-year-old Alberta Premium. Um, let's get this open. The box has some dust on it, so just get the dust off of there. And pull out a bottle of Alberta Premium. It looks like the regular Alberta Premium bottle. Uh, it's got the same 1970s style uh, decanter look to it as the regular bottle. Uh, this one is is the plastic one, but uh, this same juice comes in a bottle that looks like this that doesn't have the 20 on it much of the time. So I'm going to pour me a dram of this 20 year old Alberta Premium and then I'm going to uh, read what it says on the box. Oh, come on, open up. There. Oh. Oh, okay. This has a fancy thing here that's supposed to come off, I think. Where's the pull tab? The pull tab is buried. Well, you know what? I've, I've already got the... Come on. I've already got it. I'm screwed. <laughs> Come on. I'm surprised that this this uh, thing, this uh, foil or whatever it is, is holding it on. See if I can just cut through that. Okay. I think I got it now. Take all this fancy crap off of here. There, cap and all. The cap is still in the foil. So now I've butchered this. Okay, I put the knife away. And here's our little Alberta Premium plastic cap. Black plastic cap, just like that there. And here's a Alberta Premium, 20 year old. At 42% alcohol by volume. Now, seal that back up. And what does it say on here? Alberta Premium Canadian Rye Whiskey. We use only the Finest locally grown rye grains from Canada's heartland to produce the unique taste of Alberta Premium for this very special release. We use glacier-born water in our Alberta Premium Rye whiskies. We age our whiskey in charred oak casks to mellow and to deliver a result that is truly unique and full of character. Tasting notes. Nosing notes. Whatever. Drink Smart, Alberta Distillers Limited, Calgary, Canada. Uh, 20 years. What's it say on this side? Limited edition, 100% Canadian rye whiskey. Alberta Distillers Limited. Okay, well, I, I got two of these. I, I bought this one at the Premium Spirits release, and I got another one later on. 
just in case I like it a lot. And in case it would be hard to find. Well, let's see now. Oh, that smells interesting. I'm getting banana. Banana. A lot of banana. If I was a rabbit, I would love this. Rabbits love bananas, by the way. You want to you want to give candy to a rabbit? Give the rabbit some banana. Let's have a look at the legs on that. Oh, nice thick legs. They run down pretty fast. The secondaries are slow to form. And they hang there for a little while. But they also come down. A lot of banana. Wow. Banana, caramel, toffee, spicy. Spicy. I'm getting vanilla. Banana. Vanilla. Banana. Spicy. I'm getting something vegetal like uh, like carrots. And a little bit of a perfumey note, which uh, no doubt comes from the rye and banana. It will be interesting to add a drop or two of water and see what that does to this. But so far, okay, the banana is kind of changing into a, a more perfumey note. That reminds me of carrots and rutabagas. Strange. Would happen to have just the right amount of ABV too. There's so much more on the nose here than there is on the regular Alberta Premium. Spicy, vanilla, rutabaga, that banana note is, has done the moving aside thing. The banana note has moved aside. And now it's a little bit perfumey and spicy. Okay, let's taste it. Oh, yes. This is so much richer than your regular Alberta Premium. It's a little bit spicy. It's not too woody. I was, I was expecting more wood with a 20-year-old, but 
it could be that they used uh, used barrels. I don't believe this is virgin oak at all. Let's take a sip of water. And go for a second sip on this 20-year-old Alberta Premium. It may be that it requires a bit of time to open up as well. So I will be coming back to this bottle naturally. Spicy and somewhat vegetal. Carrots, rutabagas. The banana note is very vague now. It's almost completely gone. It's spicy and a bit perfumey. But the spice is not overpowering. It just has a couple extra dimensions over the regular Alberta Premium. Just for the sake of it, what did this cost me? This limited edition 20 year old Alberta Premium. You know, it's not really bad. $79.99, 10 cent bottle deposit, $8 liquor tax, goods and services tax of $4 coming out with uh, $92.09 out the door, $92.10 if you're paying by cash. So 92 bucks. Canadian bucks, that is. The regular Alberta premium will set you back about $28, including tax. So three times the price. Okay, on the palate, on the second sip, first there is banana. The banana fades slowly. It's spicy, but not too spicy. You can taste the rye, but it's not overpowering. It's very mellow. It's very easy drinking. Yeah. Uh, even though the banana was gone from the nose, it's there on the palate. If you like banana, and, and it's the kind of banana like a banana popsicle. I remember those from when I was a kid. They were great. I loved banana popsicles. Once again, spicy and perfumey on the nose. With a hint of carrots and rutabagas. <laughs> Strange, but... Nice. Um, one more sip. Mm. At 42%, this is beautifully easy drinking. It is a nice drum. If it didn't cost so much, I would drink it every day. Let's add a bit of water. See if that opens anything up. There's a bit of water. Okay. If anything, the addition of water has taken away some of that. No, it's still there. The banana is still there. The spiciness is still there, but the spiciness is, oh, the spiciness is a little more, I think. Yeah, it's a tiny little bit more spicy than it was. And the banana is still there.
Oh. Oh, yes. The addition of water has made it more spicy. <clears throat> has made it more creamy. Has given it some more Some more caramel and a bit more vanilla. Still very easy drinking. I don't think it needs the water to be enjoyable. I just added the water to see what it would do. This makes it a little more spicy. And the banana's still there. That banana note keeps coming in and coming back. Like I said, if you like banana, like a banana popsicle. Ah, this is nice. I'm glad I have a second backup bottle. And it will also be nice to see what happens to it as the level goes down. Out of curiosity, what does it say for tasting notes? Color, amber gold, aroma, buttery caramel, rich vanilla, a hint of spice and wood, slightly sweet yet complex. Huh. So the caramel and vanilla, I got banana. Taste. Ultra smooth with the sweetness from the caramel and toffee notes combining with the spiciness of rye and underlying wood befitting a liquid aged for 20 years. Finish. Warm and lingering finish that retains hints of caramel, toffee, and spice. Yeah, uh, it says caramel and toffee. I get some caramel and toffee, but banana <laughs> is what I get most of. Maybe as the bottle level goes down, uh, as the fill level goes down, I will get more toffee and caramel and more vanilla and less banana. It's entirely possible. But on the neck pour, lots of banana. Cheers. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. <laughs>